If Verona was home to the most famous femme fatale, it seems eerily appropriate that Milan have twice had the Scudetto snatched away at the Bentegodi. Whereas Romeo's heartbreak was fictional, Milan's pain was all too real in 1973 and 1990. The Rossoneri are seeking fonder memories tonight and hoping to avoid a third instalment of La Fatale Verona. Tonali. Salamakis, he can deliver. Not a bad ball in either. And it's tipped over the top by Monty Pot. Rade Krunic so close to the opener. Calabria. Tonali once again making that run. Calabria, Tonali, Calabria, wonderful football. And Monty Pot kicks it behind. Brilliant one too. And this time they were close again. Piercing ball through from Ilic. Caprari now releasing Lazovic. He can cut it back. There's surely a goal. Fareoni with the opener. Put on a plate by Lazovic. One winger to another. And Verona have the lead. And Inter have the advantage in the title race. There is time for one last Milan attack. Rafael Liao away from Casale. Can he pick out a teammate? He can. Tonali does score. Milan will go in level at the break. The genius of Rafael Liao and the desire of Tonali. Milan on the counter. Rafael Liao, he's hard to catch. Barak getting back. Rafael Liao stretching his legs. The angle's tight. And there's Tonali again. Rafael Liao to Sandro Tonali. Could that be the Scudetto winning combination for Milan? Late on in the first half, early on in the second. Calabria's won it back. And Monty Paul tried to hold it. He got lucky there. Junior Messias, Florenzi again, opportunity knocks! Fit again, firing for Milan. He came on to sew up the points, but no one expected that. His job was a defensive one, but a brilliant give and go, and a thumping finish from Florenzi. Fatal Verona no more for the Rossoneri. Full-time score at the Bentegodi, Ellis Verona 1, Milan 3.